Hi everyone and welcome to The Audiophiles. I'm Steve, glad you could make it again today. Another exciting episode, well I say that every week, but this is another exciting episode. I'm gonna be unboxing Analog Productions UHQR Aqualung Baby. Now, I bought this back in October when it was released by Analog Productions. I don't know why I didn't unseal it then, but I guess it's perfect timing, uh, only because myself and a few of my uh, Facebook colleagues who um, are part of the other MoFi and Audiophile groups on Facebook decided to start a new Facebook group called the Analog Productions Fan Club. So if you haven't become a member of the Analog Productions Fan Club, do it now. Awesome information about Analog Productions. If you are a newcomer to the Analog Productions uh, label, you'll get lots of information from that group. So please um, have a look at that as well. And Again, subscribe to The Audio Files if you want some really relevant information. I know a lot of you are enjoying my channel. I've gotten a lot of feedback. Some of you enjoy my accent, my Canadian accent, apparently you, you like that. So I'm, I, whatever it takes, I'm glad that you're really enjoying it, glad you're enjoying the information. Um, again, I'm getting a lot of positive feedback. I'm still giving away the Abbey Road box set, 3LP box set, when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So. Click on that subscription button now. You'll see it there. Um, yeah, let's get this going. So this is Analog Productions version of Jethro Tull's Aqualung UHQR version, 45 RPM cut. It was cut by Chris Bellman at Bernie Grunman Mastering Studios. Uh, Analog Productions press 5,000 copies of this album and I guess today I'm really excited to be able to unbox it and unseal it and see what's inside. I'm super excited about it. Now I have other copies as well. Um, I've got the Mobile Fidelity version here. This one uh, was released in 1981. Um, I've had this one since I was a kid. It was actually my dad's as well and uh, I enjoy it, but I mean I'm not going to compare to do a shootout. It's sort of apples to oranges considering that uh, you know, Analog Productions is a 45 RPM cut. So it just doesn't, I think it just doesn't do it justice. But again, um, if you're looking for different options as well in terms of affordability, you can find these ones on Discogs or the MoFi buy and sell group on Facebook, probably around 90 to $100. And then another cool option too, and it depends on affordability, I'll show it to you here. This is the Steven Wilson remix, kind of neat. You can, see, you can see here, it's like a booklet, and actually at the front, this is where the, the record's kept. Now you can pick these, up, these ones up on Discogs for $21 to $30, so I mean, <laughs> value-wise, pick one up as well. And I just want to quickly read a quick note here, Stephen Wilson, who did the mixes here, um, he actually took, him, took the mixes from the analog tapes and he transferred them to a 96K 24 bit at Abbey Road Studios. So mass, not mastered from the original master tapes, but he took a, took a copy from the, from the original master tapes and uh, mastered it from a high res digital. So that's, that's the Stephen Wilson and it does sound really well. Highly recommended if you're on a budget. So yeah, for sure, get that one. Now a little bit of back history. Um, Aqualung was recorded between February 1970 and April 1971. Cool little bit of fun fact there. They actually were recording Aqualung in the same studio at the same time as Led Zeppelin was recording their untitled or Led Zeppelin 4 album. So reading a little bit of history about that, I thought that was quite interesting. That's uh, quite a lot of competition. I know that Ian Anderson, who's the uh, lead singer and writer of Je Jethro Tull, um, even mentioned in an interview about that, he said that he felt that uh, the studio that uh, Jethro Tull was in was really echoey and cold and uh, not very, I guess, what they were looking for, but they got through it. And I believe that the Led, Ze Led Zeppelin had a much better uh, studio to record uh, their untitled or fourth album. So I found that really interesting. Uh, Aqua DeLung went on to, send, to sell 7 million copies. Uh, you know, it, it, it's one of those albums that it really depends. It's, it's, it, if you're a Jethro Tull fan, you're gonna, obviously you love it. And if you haven't really been into Jethro Tull, 
um, and it's something you've heard you've heard about Jeff Lortal and you've never really uh, listened to any, any of their music, it might take a little bit of time to get used to. So uh, I would start with Aqualung, uh, whatever copy you feel you want to buy. It could be the Analog Productions one on Discogs, which is running $300 or so right now, or like I said, uh, Mobile Fidelity. Uh, pressing or even the Stephen Wilson pressing. Those are my top three that I would recommend. So yeah, I want to go and right now unbox this thing. And let's... So I'm going to unbox this. I got number 1958 out of 5,000. You can see this is sealed. Let's have a look. A little bit of a, okay, let's see if I can get this. I didn't bring a knife or anything like that. So I can do this like this. Grabbing it. There we go. Whoa. There we go. There it is unsealed. As you can see, it sort of slides out. I almost slid it out when I was taking the, uh, the plastic off. So I'll slide it out. Let's see. Nice book. Just open this up. I guess this isn't a book. <laughs> this is where the albums are held. Here's the front, the back. It's a gatefold. And then the vinyl. There it is. Beautiful. Really exciting. Really nice piece of vinyl. As you can see here, I'm going to be excited to spin this a little bit later. And it also comes with this here. And a little bit of analog productions advertising. It says analog acoustic sounds fall 2020. Open it up. Of course, it just has a list of all the different pressings that are out there. As you can see, the latest one, the Miles Davis one that's out now. And of course, Aqualung. And this is kind of cool. Uh, this is a UHQR by Analog Productions Technical Specifications Manual. So I'll read this. It says the ultra high quality record UHQR from Analog Productions quality record pressing is unlike any record ever made, including previous UHQR designated records. Various vinyl formulations, weights, colors, and profiles have in years past produced some very good records, but none like these. Oh, lots to look at. And then here um, it just says limited edition custom pressing to 5,000. In the back there, some pictures of the quality record pressings team. And then you can see here a certificate of authorized, you know, I guess of authentication, clarity vinyl, UHQR. So really nice, really nice presentation. Really, really, really nicely done. And then finally, we have liner notes. So all the songs lyrics to the songs on both sides. Play this, very interesting. As you can see, <laughs> different colored vinyl than I think most of you were expecting who don't, who haven't ever seen Clarity vinyl before. So this will be really neat to play. And uh, again, I'm not gonna do a shoot out of it, but uh, I'll come back in a few minutes. Um, I'll play the first side and um, I'm assuming it's gonna be incredible. Like, I mean, how can't it be? And I'll let you know what I think of it. And what can you say? Wow, super quiet vinyl, like super quiet. I mean, drop the needle, dead quiet, song comes on. I mean, having it at 45 uh, RPM, that cut gives the, gives, gives the record, I guess, you know, gives the tapes more, more room on the record. So you get to really hear all that was on those tapes. It was done really well. So. I mean, if you have the budget to spend, you know, $300 right now um, after market for it, go and do it if you're a huge Aqualung fan. Absolutely worth it. This one, they hit it out of the park. Uh, what more can I say? Wow. Um, very impressed. 
Now, I mean, again, I'm not going to do a shootout. The other ones that I own that I mentioned, I mean, the, you know, not the same. I mean, Stephen Wilson is a remix. Mobile Fidelity is a 33 RPM from 1981 um, from the master recordings. But again, uh, with the Clarity vinyl hand pressed, I really think Analog Productions did an outstanding job here. Wow, is all I can say. And again, guys, hope you enjoyed this. I know this is just a little unboxing and uh, this is more for, you know, maybe some of the, the newer analog production, uh, you know, fans out there or, or people out there that are looking looking at uh, these pressings. So again, thanks for joining us.